Hey guys, so we're here. welcome back to Night in the Woods. Let's carry on where we left off. We just met with the cult, and now we're getting out of this tunnel after pretty much being grabbed by a guy called Eed. Hopefully this one foot of water won't kill us. I will go by myself then. Thank you, friends. You guys are great. Didn't I tell you how much I didn't want to be alone? Are you following me? Oh, fine. I'm the one who's injured. Oof. Cats don't even like water. Whoa. Oh my god. What's happening? Ah! I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard not to be angry. Got me all defenseless. And I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out in the window. Last leaf on the tree. Finally blown off. I'm so scared. All the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. It was over long before I got here. So long. Hiding. We're trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop. Until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave. When I have to let go. When this entire town is wiped off the map. I want it to hurt. Bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something, at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're going to kill me right here, then do it. If not... May! Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepy-walky there for a sec? You want me to carry you? No. I think I'm good. I'm just... Very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh huh. Hey, there's load over here. Did you smell that? I bet he did. But now you left me alone again. Urgh. At least I'm not injured anymore. Wow, what the hell was that all about? Whew. Is May like possessed or something? Something clouding her judgment? I don't know. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough at least. Brochure. Hello! Oh. Oh. We're down here. Here, here! Don't ask us why, please, please, please. Go get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I... I can try to make it out. No, I can like... Okay. Yeah, are you up for this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body's like, uh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. <laughs> Endorphins, I think you mean, May. Okay, I am seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. There. Thank you. Those. Okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. Ah, let's assume I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ascend from darkness. See you on the other side, friends. Ha! Now who's leaving who behind? Oh, jeez. I feel like I'm ascending to heaven. Ah! Can't tell what's safe to jump on, what's not. There we go. Right, there we go. Hey. This place. Huh. Hey, mate. Germ? Yeah. 
What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard. It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? Hey, May. Yeah? Was that... Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. I feel like they're gonna tell me something bad. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? I thought they were gonna say something like, Germ's been dead this whole time, and I was gonna be like, Oh my god, twist! <laughs> my entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Totally. <laughs> oh, uh... Anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you, like... I don't know. Seal up the swell. Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah. I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Uh, okay. Bye, guys. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess. But we did cause the death of, like, a dozen guys. No, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh god. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would've. Uh... What? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. <laughs> walk and talk, guys. Walk and talk. I'm still suspicious. Hey, guys. Uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell just even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're, like, special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is gonna keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserved all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast, and you're dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Lol. I don't know if I'm ever going to understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel like, right now, like, all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball, and no one can hurt us. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. B, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems. But if I could, I'd fix them. I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or, like, borrow them at least. A better friend would buy. But I'm what you got. And I'm glad. Yep. There it is. Now, I'm just going to erase all that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off me.
Look off. Surely there's going to be consequences for what we just did. Changing of the seasons. Well, we're still alive. We weren't killed in our sleep, so that's a good sign, isn't it? Ah. I wonder if our grandpa was part of the secret society. Whoa. <laughs> There's some strange drawings you got there, man. Wait, let's review the journey so far. We've got a lot of uh, pages that weren't filled in. Wow, this is a long book. Parents forgot you. Yes, mom. Still funny though. Dad looks older. Neat. Thought this place is falling apart. Big skeleton. Aunt Mel. Mall cop is planning to kill me. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's like a foreshadowing. Who knows? Greg Wool's okay. B. Beatrice Santello, maybe. <laughs> Die anywhere else. Weird autumn. Wow. I'm sure you guys can pause the video if you want to relive some of these memories. We do have that mysterious tooth, that's what's got me suspicious about Grandpops. Oh yeah, we did die tonight apparently as well. Ooh, that's a creepy drawing. Damn. I wonder what's in the missing pages though. Anyone on? Of course you are. Hey May, you okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice though. I'll see you there. Hey man, nice messages last night. I mean like, really? You massive dork, lol. Band practice today. BC, I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snellcom. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Holy message. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. <laughs> that's my thoughts. <laughs> I'm guessing that's... Oh no, that's Casey's one, right? Surely. That can't be germs because we can't contact him. Epilogue. Stars. Oh, we're at the end. What an interesting story this was. Interesting journey. God. It's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not going to cry today. I suppose let's check out this one last time since we're in the epilogue. Might as well see what's different. If anything changed in here. We just got Granddad's tooth and he visited us as a ghost. Nope, nothing here. I know there's an element of choice in this game. I don't know how far reaching it is. Uh, I'm guessing some of the decisions we've made throughout the game has affected how we've gotten to this point, but uh, I'll be interested to see what could have been different. Hey, Granddad's clock. Hey, Granddad. I'm sure he's here with us as well. We're gonna eat you for Thanksgiving, Bird. I don't think it's big enough. I should, like, reread some of these. I mean, I got time. And the cozy months are coming. Shapes from beyond the veil of space. Okay, yeah. Let's go with that one. Oh, what else is there? Let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937. Shapes from beyond the veil of space is a towering achievement and marks the start of the weird gothic genre. An influence of much of 20th and 21st century horror, science fiction, and pulp literature. Shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. <laughs> Yep, 1937. Wow. May, honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen. If you want to talk. Yes, I want to talk. Oh, no. <laughs> I want to talk. Mom, I'm alive. I'm so happy. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Sure, Mom. I... You're an adult. And you can do whatever you want. But you do live here. And you are still my baby. Oh, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules. Just because... Honey, you could have died the other night. And then you just left to hang out with your friends. I... I... 
I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year, Mom. Hon, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but what happened at school, Hon? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then? Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner, like we used to. Dad can put the pancakes in the air. <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, Han. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. I love you, too, Mom. Bye. Oh, man, I'm so happy. Treasure. Treasure this relationship, me. <gasps> oh, it's dead. <laughs> I thought it was granddad. I was like, Wah! Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, oh, Dad. Why? I'm lying. I've made glass. I've done a heap of other stuff. This place... They just don't respect you for work. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss supposed to respect you. Workers supposed to be able to talk. Workers supposed to be able to have a life. Workers supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies, and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance, and hold on to the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory. At least for a while. But here... I got something for you. Got down in the basement. How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is... A tooth. A what? Do you know what this tooth is? No. Really? You sure? Yeah. Granddad must have had it from the old days. May. Thank you. Wow. Looks bright and new. Like they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. You show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. Me. Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. Me. Yeah. You come down and pick it with us if we walk out. I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kid. Be back later, Dad. The tooth. Achievement unlocked. What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting an early start on our longest night lights plan. Gotta dig them out of the closet, see if they even work still. Can I help put them up? We'll see. You're a small fry. Dad. Dum de dum dum. Dum de dum dum. Okay, I'll leave you alone, Dad. Thank you. Too kind. Ah, things turned out okay. Yeah, I wonder what the encounter in the mines would have been like if we played this game differently. I don't even know what we could have done differently. Oh, we should respect Mom's wishes. Go back to town. Stay in town. Look, the snow is falling. Ah, so nice. We do have band practice. We'll have to go to the Snalka. There's... Gregory explains. Oh, Art Morkop, you were not down with the cultists. Hey, what are you doing here? 
I'm working, mate. Sure. <sighs> What's wrong? Don't ask. A lot of weird calls this morning. What kind of calls? Question. You haven't seen... Never mind. Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine, I will. May? Spit it out already! Be careful. Just... Be careful. Oh, jeez, until now I never considered that. May! Okay, fine, thanks, bye. Bye, see ya, bye. Toodaloo! Selmers! Hey, May! What's up, Selmers? You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headaches all. I got some migraine meds if you need them. No, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. I used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if I ever have a hay or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. Oh, no poem for us today? No, that's okay. Well, the council's here. That doesn't really answer the question, Colleen. That very much does answer the question. The amount of rock salt isn't the problem. We don't have enough damn trucks for this thing. Car slip sliding up, all up and down this goddamn hill. Colleen! Enough tempted to just close the road when the storm hits. Oh yeah, good. Let's just give up. Stop giving up, Colleen. I'm sick of you undermining me. It's a bad idea. That's not undermining. It's undermining. I'm on Colleen's side on this one. Well, that's just great. That's just peachy pie, ain't it? Okay, fine. We'll just close all the roads. Let's close down the whole damn town. Your ideas are always the most important and the most thought out. What the? We gonna do another water balloon toss? I nearly froze to death last time. I still have the sniffles. I think we can all agree it's too cold for water balloons. Yeah, Kathleen. Too cold for another stupid idea. Go to hell, Colleen. We could just hire some private plows. If you want to go against the DOT union, go right ahead. We got agreements with the county and state. Colleen's right on this one too. If you two agree so much, why don't you just get married already? Ugh. I'd rather die. I'd rather break my own femurs with a cinder block. Alright, well now that's settled. What are we doing about the road? Break for food? Great idea. I'm starving. See? We can still make decisions. <laughs> Move out, troops. <laughs> oh, thank you, Siri, for contributing. Jeez. I wasn't even talking to you. Why is my phone? Self-aware. Snow coming. Gonna be bad this year. Well, I hope the guy on the roof of the telescope's are okay. I haven't seen Mr. Richardson. I wonder if we're truly safe, though. I think we can put something to rest. Well, I want to throw this away, but I can't, unfortunately. Rest in peace, my friend. That I never knew. Personally. But may knew very well. And Gregory. Into church. Before we go inside, though, let's go check out Bruce's old uh, hideaway. Hope he's alright, wherever he is. He'll look a lot friendlier when he's covered in snow. <laughs> Rather than leaves, yeah. We have a snowman statue. Snow statue man. Statue snowman. Statue man snow. I don't know. Hey! Well, hey there, Ray. What are you doing? Oh, just cleaning up. How'd the council book go? We lost. I lost. It was just me pushing for it, really. We've got all this empty space. Could use it for so many things, but... You try. All we can do. And God will show up. When the time is right. Bruce was my friend. Mine too. Bruce was my friend. Need some help cleaning this place up? That'd be nice, mate. There's a rake back in the shed. Behind the church. Oh. 
can't do it now, but... <laughs> Run along, May. <laughs> Backfired. You know, that favor was like, is there anything I can do? And they're like, yes, you can. You're like, oh. Okay. I just meant, you know, I'm supporting you. I just said these words <laughs> to comfort you. All right. All seems okay. Bruce is gone, though. Unfortunately. I wonder if we could have changed that. Who knows? I'm definitely going to look around. Let's see what else is up. Because we only get one save in this game, uh, if you didn't know that already. So you're kind of committed to your campaign, or whatever you want to call it, your story. Let's get inside. Mom's not in here, though. But maybe we can take another nap. First, let's check the sanctuary. I don't think there's anything different in here. Nope, it's all the same. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, sorry. I was timing it with my jumps. Here. sleep again? Or are we just gonna sit? Looks like we're just gonna sit, unfortunately. Okay. Let's go. May's not sleeping. I think she's finally caught up on all that sleep when she was unconscious. Oh, I was gonna say what happened, but we just tripped up on a step. Out we go. Down the stairs. Into town. Looks like everything's the same, except we got some uh, longest night lights now. See that star there? Oh, let's go to the top. I know it's not the most efficient route, but I just like taking this route. To stay consistent. Ah, oh, fishermen's here. When winter comes and the water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not flooded ruin; it's a home, a place for doing. Sure, it works. Please go away. <laughs> Poor guy. Can I have a pretzel yet? Delicious pretzel. Nope, cannot. Oh, hello. Hey, it's me. I remember. Whole clock upstairs ain't stopped yet. What do you want to tell me about Grandad? Well, I'll only say if you really want to know. Ah, uh, yes. I do want to know. You got a history of troublemakers in your family. On your daddy's side in particular. Oh, go back far enough? You got folks that were around for the real hard times. When the workers went up against armies. Oh yeah, I kind of remember something about that. Great, 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 great grandfather or whatever. Might have gotten the number of greats wrong there. Your grandfather and I weren't around for a lot of the violence. That was before even our time. Nah, we were around to watch the tide roll out. And? We'll need to talk again another time. I get tired. Oh. Okay. Can I get you anything? I don't have any money. Nah. I'm just fine, man. We'll talk another time. Okay. See you. So far I'm seeing the same old people, so none of them were in the tunnel. Unless they all managed to escape somehow. Hello, you delinquents. Hey, you guys. Oh, that's a friendly way of saying it. Yeah. Stay safe, all right? Wow, thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Life, man. It goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. Yeah. Too true. You never know how good you got until you grow up. And you have to earn money. And pay for stuff. Just to stay alive. Ugh. Oh, that guy's gone. He left town, didn't he? Who are you? Haven't you seen me around? No. Well, I've noticed you. That's not weird or anything. A bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's gotta stand here. Hey, you Smelters fan? Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go Smelters? Go Smelters. Go Smelters! 
Go smelters! Go smelters! Go smelters! Taco Buck. Now hiring taco artisans. Delivery drivers, all shifts, eight dollars per hour. Oh, it's taking over possibilities. So you're a taco dude now? Oh, this guy was working at the uh, old pickaxe, I believe. I mean, I was hired to be an art taco artisan. But I guess that means holding the sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There is snow in the sky falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There is not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news. My ex hates tacos. Good news. They're now your ex. Hehe. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco Buck! Dine in, dine out. We deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all of this general region. Pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? Oh wow, that sounds amazing! Watching your health? Try out all lettuce taco! No, I refuse! Get out of here, kid, I'm working. <laughs> oh, we can't go outside. Wow! Our very own taco place. This is the best thing that's happened to this town since <laughs> we got injured at. We were still using cyberfish until like two years ago. Because it's eternally two decades behind here. It takes you three days to torrent a movie. It takes you one day to load a gif. Barbaric times. God. Life moves on, huh? Hmm. <laughs> oh my god! They deliver! I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos! Yay! Taco deliveries. Man, I remember dial up internet. Oh my gosh. Those are the times I do not want to relive. I guess everyone's already at band practice. Not good that no one's manning that uh, till. Well, ball sure is ending. Sure looks that way. Have uh, you ever seen you around before? I spent a lot of time indoors. But it's nice to take a break. And I like the gold. It's brisk today. Brisk. Sometimes I stand in the cold with my arms out and let a gust of wind pass over me. It chills me out a bit. Like this? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. It's... cold. Maybe too cold. Yeah, you don't want to be doing it for too long. But then you can go and get a coffee or hot chocolate or something. The endless cycle of life. It's cozy. The endless cozy cycle of life. Teas. I hadn't thought about how cold it was getting out here until you mentioned it. It's snowing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm from Canada. I have to apologize. <laughs> I'm gonna put my arms down now. That's probably a good idea. The blood all ran out of my arms. Okay. No arms. Duh. Canadians. They're about as famous for their apologies as New Zealanders are for sheep. Hey, it's you. Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix sets, whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember? No, I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How'd you know? God, experience. I swear some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen. And I feel like I should have woken up today. And like, I've learned something. But I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything. But they make you something. And sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what come of it. Huh. Well, done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, mate. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> what a strange guy. Wait! How do you know my name? Wait! Janitor! Janitor, Mr. Janitor, Lord Janitor, Bob Janitor. Thought. I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. He sees all, he knows all. Dr. Janitor. So I'm gonna split. Part time? How do they not have the hours? It's a huge store, how do they not have hours? They got a computer program. 
It's all hooked up to some kind of mainframe or something. It spits out the optimum schedule for all the employees. Manager can't do much about it. The computer don't play favorites. Yeah, I guess you can't argue with a computer. Did Nancy give you hell? Nah. She did laugh though. I laughed too. We still gonna do that movie? Yeah, let's find a night where we're all off. I'm off Tuesdays. I'm off Sundays. Thursdays is my only night off. We can all put in requests. Oh, sad. Bit of a left out. Okay. Let's head on to the food donkey. Uh, R.I.P. Let's see if we can spot germ out in the sticks. And then we'll commence band practice. Go, go, go. Long run. Yeah, this really is not the optimal route. Oh well. Worth it to explore town one last time. See what's up. You guys all look chill. Relaxed. Hmm. Empty parking lot, as usual. Up here. Fascinating. <laughs> okay. Let's go to Snalka. One last time. Perhaps, I don't know. And we'll do band practice. We'll see Gregory. will hopefully wave his arms around. Like the jello he is. Who's alive and well? Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like relevant. Well, look who's alive and well, you too. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get out of it? Do bad practice? Yeah. 